seven designer bags that I have owned but I will never buy again. Avoid making an expensive mistake by watching today's video and finding out which bags I'm talking about and why I don't think they'll ever make it into my designer bag collection again. Hey everyone, Steph here. If you are new to this channel and love all things luxury, you my friends are in exactly the right place because we get it and not everyone does. Make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. Now, if you didn't already know, you might have guessed by the name of this channel that I am an avid collector of designer bags. It is my kryptonite, okay? I currently have over 30 bags in my luxury bag collection, but I have been collecting for over 10 years now, which is a little bit scary, which means I have had my fair share of designer bags and ones that I like, but just have not worked out for me. Now this video is going to be savage. I'm just gonna warn you, there are some bags that I'm gonna mention throughout this video that I will not buy again, that are incredibly popular, that you might have in your collection. They have been in my collection at one point. I thought they would work, but they just haven't. I'm gonna be sharing why. But yeah, just please take this with a pinch of salt. This is my opinion, this is why the bags have not worked out for me and I hope that maybe if you are debating any of these bags it might help you to make a better decision you might be like do you know what I can completely like that will not bother me I'm still going to get the bag or you might be like oh I didn't know about that before now I'm going to reconsider but yeah please do get involved in the comments down below I would love to know some bags that have been in your collection that you won't buy again as well now before we dive in with bag number one it is worth noting I realized as I was pulling together this list, there is a lot, in fact, all of these bags are from Louis Vuitton and it is not that I don't like the brand. In fact, it's the opposite. Louis Vuitton has been my favorite luxury brand over the years, hence why I have tried lots of different styles of bag from the brand, more than any other brand actually. And I have found that some of them just don't work for me. So I just kind of want to point that out. You might be like, why is this all Louis Vuitton? It is because I have had more styles from this brand than any other. It's not that I don't like it, but I feel like there's a few styles from Louis Vuitton that I absolutely love. Maybe that's another video idea, but I'm just gonna go through the ones that haven't worked out. Bag number one is a very controversial one. It is one that I have grappled with for years. It is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse bag. I have had the normal monogram, the reverse monogram is the one that ended up in my collection for many, many years. I also had the emprunt leather in the beautiful like pink color. The pink one I never used. It literally never left the house. The normal monogram, I personally just didn't like the Vachetta leather. I feel like it's slightly more high maintenance. The reverse, however, was the one that I kept for many years. And I can honestly say it probably left the house around five times throughout its entire lifetime. And it was just absolutely wasted, but I didn't want to sell it because I do like the look of the Pochette Matisse. But I recently did a vlog in Dubai. I've done a video on this where I, I spoke about this before and I saw quite a lot of the Pochette Matisse bag and for some reason it kind of just falls flat on me now. I feel like I've seen it so much. It is such a popular bag because it is easy to use. Yeah, but I guess because, especially because I'm into bags, I, I clock bags all the time and I feel like this is one of the those that I've seen so, so much that I just kind of ended up falling out of love with it. I didn't want to part with it, but I did recently sell it, so I don't have it anymore. The Pochette Matisse has been one of those bags that I have wanted to love, but I, I don't know what it is. I just don't gravitate towards using it. One of the reasons is because I have my Louis Vuitton Odium PM bag here. You can fit a small bottle of water in this bag. With the Pochette Matisse, you have like multiple compartments. They're actually quite thin because you've got like three compartments inside of that, you know, bag space. So you can only kind of get flatter items in it. And sometimes, you know, you just wanna take a bulkier item out with you. So for me, I just didn't gravitate towards the bag. I have sold it. And I have decided that unless, I don't know, something, something, completely changes in my life. I, I don't want to add another Pochette Matisse to my collection ever again. Like I'm over it, I am done. I have had my fair share of them. It hasn't worked out and I am now accepting that. But I know for some people they will literally use theirs every single day. So slightly controversial. Bag number two, however, wasn't one that ended up in my collection for many, many years. In fact, as soon as it arrived, it basically went out the door again. This is the multi Pochette Accessoire bag. I tried to stay away from this hype when this bag was first released. This is the one where you've got the like two pochettes together, you've got the chain dangling down and you've got the coin purse on the strap, which is something I really hate. Anyway, I decided to stay away from it, but I kept seeing it over and over again. Mostly Instagram is to blame for this situation. And I finally purchased one with the pink strap. It came in. I didn't 
like completely hate it, but I did think, and I'm sorry, I know some people love this bag. I felt like for the amount of money that it is now, especially because of the price increases on this bag, I felt it looked a little bit cheap especially with the chain and the coin purse, like there was just a lot going on. And for how much they cost now, I 100% would go down the route of actually getting a proper, proper bag from Louis Vuitton rather than like the pochettes mashed together into a bag with a strap. Like I would get the Odeon, I would get the pochette Matisse even over the uh, pochette accessoire bag. This is not gonna be popular because I know some people love it. It definitely has like a quite a cool casual vibe, but for me, it is just not my style. Like, and I will never be adding one to my collection again. Bag number three is the most popular bag from Louis Vuitton. And I will not be adding another one to my collection ever again. I do have one in my collection. It is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, okay? The Louis Vuitton Neverfull, this is a fantastic tote bag. I can't lie, it is. Like if you want to throw loads of stuff inside of a bag, like go for the Neverfull. Lots of people use this bag for work. Uh, it can be great. This is the MM size. Now the reason that I haven't sold this and that I have one in my collection still, despite the fact that I won't be adding another, is the fact that this is a limited edition Stephen Sprouse Roses, which took me like a year, years, even to get this, absolute years. I was searching high and low, finally found this one on eBay and the idea of letting it go after that long, I don't know, I feel like I'd regret it. So I don't think this one is ever going to go anywhere. I will keep it. I can say I don't use it. I really don't use it. I prefer the on the go. If you've seen any of my other videos, you will know this already, but I quite like this bag if you do need to carry a lot, but it's quite a, you know, people can get in your bag quite easily. A liner though is essential. I've got a pink one in here to kind of organize your stuff. Otherwise they end up becoming a bit of a, a hole and you've just got like stuff floating around really unorganized. So yeah, that's essential. But yeah, for me, I know that this style of bag, even though it's like a great tote bag, I prefer security, I prefer better structure. And this is actually quite a big bag now that I very rarely need something of this size. So for me, I will never be adding, I don't want a PM, the small one. I don't want a GM, which is even bigger than this one, like the MM, perfect size, but I just don't use it. I prefer my on the go. I really, really do. I just prefer the structure. It looks more boxy. I have done a comparison video. If you want to watch that, I will link to it up here. But this one, no more. Bag number four. Louis Vuitton are going to hate me for this. I really hope no one is watching, okay? This is another very popular bag from the brand. I have no doubt uh, these will be in many people's collections. It just hasn't worked out for me and I have had variations of this bag. Like I have had at least five versions of this bag. I have had different sizes. I have had different prints. And I am coming to the same conclusion that I've come to with the Pochette Matisse. That is that as much as I love them and I like the look of them, I don't know what it is. I just don't love the style of bag, okay? This is the Speedy Bag from Louis Vuitton. I have had the, this is the 30. This is in giant monogram. This was a limited edition. And I've also got my Catagram dog charm on here because it looks like my dog Pablo. I actually think it looks quite cute on this bag. So the reason that I've kept this one is because it's limited edition. To pick one of these up now, I would be spending quite significantly more than what I did to get this. So I haven't sold it, same with the Neverfull even though I don't use them. I just don't use them, but I feel like they're collector's pieces and they're very special, so I don't have the heart to let them go. I did recently have the Speedy Dentel, which is the one with the lace on. Oh my gosh, that bag was stunning. It really was, like the detail was beautiful. It had the monogram with the lace on. I really wish Louis Vuitton would start doing beautiful things like that again. I feel like we've kind of gone down the garish, kind of route with the giant monogram and, and some of it looked great. I do have some pieces, giant monogram, but it would be nice to see some like really beautiful detailed pieces again. Anyway, going off on a tangent, the reason I won't be getting a speedy again, now I'm not gonna rule out smaller speedies, okay? Like the mini key pulls, if you will. I quite like those because you can cross body them. You can cross body this, it does come with a detachable strap, but for me, the speedy is a bulky bag. Okay, I like to crossbody my bags. And when I crossbody this, look how big it like sticks out. You know, it's a big bag. This actually works better as a top handle bag rather than a crossbody. And I don't wanna carry a bag of this size round in my hand all the time. I guess you can put it on the crook of your arm, but again, I don't know. I just like something that's a bit smaller and a bit better suited to being a crossbody bag. 
work. So the Speedy for me, I've had many variations. I think some of the best prints ever from Louis Vuitton are on the Speedy because some of the bags that are out now weren't out, you know, in previous years for previous collections. So for me, the Giant Monogram is the only one in my collection and it will be the only one going forward unless it's like a much smaller version of this bag. Yeah, what does everyone think? Because I know the Speedy as well as the Neverfull is super popular. Bag number five is one that I spent a lot of time picking the right one for me and I have found that it's just not working and I have debated selling it but I haven't had the heart to do it quite yet but I know I won't be adding any more to my collection. It is the Keep All bag from Louis Vuitton. So this is a travel bag, this is not really an everyday bag, this is an overnight bag when you head into a hotel or if you're heading on holiday and you want to carry a lot with you. This is the Keep All 45 and this one has the black leather. I went for the black leather because it's you know low maintenance if it does stain or anything gets on it it's not going to be the end of the world because it's black it does come with a crossbody strap as well i do really like this bag obviously i love the way that it looks i think it's fantastic but i've come to the conclusion i've shared this before in a few other videos this is a heavy bag any bag of this size is going to be heavy okay i'm not i'm not just saying it's like louis vuitton's made a particularly heavy bag that's not the case any bag of this size when it is full is not lightweight it's just not and i prefer having a little wheel case when i need to carry this amount of stuff a little wheel case that i can wheel along the floor so it's not killing my shoulder or my arm trying to carry an overnight bag i have kept this because obviously COVID's happened and going away a little bit more now, maybe for like one night here and there. I've kept it in case I do decide to use it, but I've also had the Prism Keepal, which was slightly bigger than this, the 50. That was such a statement piece, honestly. It was beautiful. I sold it, even though I literally jumped through hoops to try and get that bag, okay? I sold it because I knew I would never use it. And if I did use it, I'd be super nervous to actually use it. This one, I'm not so nervous to use it, which is why I decided to keep it. But I won't be buying any more designer luggage like this again that I have to carry. It would have to be a wheel case. And if it's been thrown around on the bottom of a plane or in a plane, whatever, I would probably just get a cheaper one anyway. So I won't be adding any more designer keepals, sizes of bags like this to my collection ever again. Bag number six is one that has gone to the departure lounge already. It went a long time ago. I had to go back and look at my previous like bag collection videos to see which ones have not worked for me. This is the Louis Vuitton trunk. And I love the look of this bag. It was so, so cute. The functionality of the bag wasn't the easiest. It had a strap that went over the front, which kind of clipped in similar to the Pochette Matisse. So it wasn't the easiest bag to use, but I did wear it a couple of times and I felt like it was so blingy and it really, it did stand out. And I get like Louis Vuitton's heritage is the trunk side of things. That is why I really like the look of it so much. But it was just a bit too like in your face for me and my style, like the gold on the chain especially. I much prefer and something a little bit more understated, even, it's got the, even though it's got the logo on, the Capucine bag for me, like the mini Capucine bag is my favorite Louis Vuitton bag right now. It has been for a very long time and I feel like with the trunk, it's Louis Vuitton. It kind of looks a bit expensive, but it's also like, mm, is that fake? Like it looks a little bit too shiny and, and a bit tacky, if you will. That is just my opinion. I do still love the look of it though. I do sometimes get tempted to add another one, but I know that for me, like, it's done. I am not gonna be getting another trunk bag again. And last but not least, this is a bag that I actually get asked about probably the most out of a lot of Louis Vuitton bags. It is the Louis Vuitton Alma bag. So the BB size is the most popular size. This is the smallest version of the bag. I haven't had a BB size and it is because I have had a bigger size. I have had the MM, I've had the Vernis leather. They were so beautiful, okay? But what I can tell you, and it's what I tell other people who are thinking about this bag, if you can get over the functionality issues of this bag and how not easy it is to use, go for it. But for me, I want a bag to be easy to use. And with the Alma, you have to, or I found, I had to put the bag down and then undo the zips. Like it's not a, you know, if you just wanna quickly grab something like your phone out of your bag, you've got no pockets on either side of the bag. If you wanna grab something out, like it just becomes a bit hard. Like you can undo the zips, I guess, if you've cross-bodied the BB version. 
but it's still it's just a bit of an awkward shape it's not it's not easy to get into I know that even though I, I do actually prefer the BB size and I haven't had it I have stayed away from buying that purely because I know it's going to be a bit of a pain in the bum to get anything out of it so unfortunately as much as I love the Alma bag and I love it in the Vernis leather like I think it's absolutely gorgeous in certain colours I'm done it won't be like I won't be adding another one to my collection again wow this video has been nothing short of savage. I have literally picked off some of the most popular designer bags in the world from Louis Vuitton and said they have not worked out for me. But I hope it's been insightful as to why they haven't worked out for me. If you have any in your collection, please don't take it personally. Some of them are in my collection still and they have been for a reason. It's because I liked the look of the bag but they didn't work out. Please do get involved in the comments down below. I would love to know what bags have you had that just haven't worked out and why not? Because I think we can learn a lot from each other and hopefully help each other from making some expensive mistakes. Now, if you don't want to miss a future video release like this again, or exclusive discount, make sure you are on the Hands by Colic email list. I will pop a link to it down below. And if you to see me styling some of my luxury bags and fashion you can head over to instagram my handle is at handbag underscore holic give me a follow over there feel free to dm me anytime i absolutely love to chat luxury with you guys now make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next i will let my latest video release here for you and over here why you should never wear designer to the workplace my story and some of yours as well enjoy